Hey there, fellow zombie survivors, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, episode 23, Junk on My Trunk. Okay, and the condition nominal, so that's uh, an indicator that uh, the broadcast system is not failing at the moment. My dude is super hungry and super tired, but I made it and I'm alive. Not everything that I just shoved into his glove box belongs, though. Nope. 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 And nope. And... I do need to get a dumpster up in here so I can start cleaning, like, making sure that I'm throwing things out and not throwing debris everywhere. Because throwing debris everywhere is just messy. Alright, what seat is the worst? Right rear. So, the Jeep is at... Oh man, my trunk is... Let me repair it. Sixty-eight percent. So the trunk lid is super messed up. But the Jeep is at fifty-four percent. Cool. So this will be my garbage pile. I guess. As good as anywhere. And over here is just where I'm water collecting. Because I don't really have plumbing up in here. I am hungry though. Where's those canned goods? Can you imagine being as hungry as you are? my character is and just eating like a fresh tomato airdrop from FEMA oh that must just feel great all right the things I don't need on me I'm just gonna drop no organization at the moment perhaps at one point you guys will vote for some organization but until that happens uh I ain't doing it uh this machete belongs in here oh what I could do is I could actually load all of this stuff into the trailer of the truck um, but I'm not going to be doing that until a bit later. 97 battery into the car. Very nice. So let's see, all this is trash. I've honestly just been throwing things out of the window and... Not taking care of it. I'll do a clean at some point. Oh, well, the crowbar and the hammer. Well, the hammer sucks, but the crowbar can stay. All right, you are still at 54%. Now, what about my truck? I think I still have the hood, right? Let's go inside. Yep, so here's the hood heavy duty that I had spare. And I'll replace the hood. Yeah, the hood got to zeroed. And then the engine went from 70... What was it? 2%? To 49. 
and then the one of the headlights broke. But this is, let's call it a 64% truck. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Room for improvement, certainly, but... No shame in getting a truck that far on the open road in this dangerous of a uh, scenario. And bringing it home. Alright, so my bound journal here. I am going to... Come on. Up. Up. I'm going to leave up here. So I cannot lose it. Well, I could lose it. I mean, this building could get overrun. But it's less likely to be lost. Uh, I don't even have enough propane for that repair. Okie dokie. So, next priority is scavenge Moldra for supplies. I feel like the entry hitbox for this thing is um, harder for me to get to than before. One thing I'm going to do is propose goals for tomorrow. So you guys propose goals, and I'm going to run to the bathroom while you guys suggest things that I can do after I spend a day scavenging Muldra. Of course, only now he looks up, and I also just realized that the viewer submitted idea inbox is paused. That's my fault. Sorry. Okie dokie. Has Yoda been dyed pink? Not yet. Ooh, 9 p.m. I'm overdue. So I did say that I wanted to get rid of the ball peen hammer in favor of a hatchet. I don't see a hatchet. Yeah, I don't see a hatchet anywhere. Well, that might not be possible. That's okay. I really don't have a hatchet anywhere. That I mean, maybe it's in the um the back of the truck. I'll check there next. I also meant to grab another jar of tomatoes. I want two. But I'll leave the other one closed. So the trunk in here can hold up to 37. That's better than it was. Oh, you know what I need to do is, um, I need to figure out where my vehicle maintenance stuff is. The, uh, lug wrench and pipe, uh, pump and all that stuff. It got lost somewhere. All right, gas cans, crowbar, 
Jack Lugwrench. Did I, I think I already had a tire pump in there. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not seeing... I have an axe, but not like a... Not a hatchet. Okay, that's fine. I'll just have the hammer on me instead. Not a big deal. Wait, did I already drop that crowbar? I am so confused about what I was just doing. <laughs> no, it's right here. So my spare weapon is the spiked baseball bat I got off that uh, that prepper zombie. Well, let's go scavenging up and down. So now I have all the parts that I need to do quick vehicle repair. All the seats of this thing are empty. I don't have spare food in the glove box, which is probably something I ought to do. But uh, I'm already on my way out, so do that later. Do I prefer Seven Days to Die or Left for Dead 2? Ooh. Uh, they aren't, in my mind, like even similar games to one another. One's a couch co op action game, and the other's like a builder survival game. But between those two, I would, I would say Seven Days to Die, because it has a lot more replayability. Left 4 Dead was really fun back in the day, but um, if you play it with a few capable friends, you beat it pretty easy. might use up this lethal bumper, but I wouldn't mind clearing out the stretch of road between my new outpost and Muldra. Because it's going to be a lot harder to drive home at, uh, during the day with them going full. Oh, wow. I'm going to get out for this because there's a lot of cops here, too. Might be able to get myself a fresh bullet proof vest. update to seven days recently I don't think it was all that recent it did update but like not super recently it was like back in March or something right I don't, I don't know the actual time frame because I haven't played it in years Let's check. This bulletproof vest worth having on. Uh, yeah, it does cover my lower torso. Oh, this other one's fresh. This other one's good. Glorious. I'm glad I, I hopped out. Well, it looks fresh. 
I don't see any visible damage. Yep, it's good. It's good, good, good. That is a rare find. I'm gonna get rid of my uh, sort of damaged one because I, I don't want it. I will take the shotgun though. Whoa. Alright, taking a look at my protection numbers. Upper and lower torso is 100. And uh, head is 100 because of the combat helmet. Not bad. So I am going to first try to go over to the small factory in order to rummage up some metalwork material. One of the things to keep in mind when you're proposing goals is the long-term goals of upgrading these vehicles for armored parts and the like. So that's something I'm always going to prioritize doing one left up to me over all the other tasks, because that is the goal of this series, is to, uh, is to get a nice and modified armored jeep and truck so that I can be the no-ban I'm supposed to be. Do I not have betas? Yeah, here they are. There is a car repair shop just up the road, yeah. And if you want to propose that as a goal for me to go to, go for it. I'll be probably likely scavenging there next. I just wanted to come here first. Because the car sh the car shop might have parts for vehicles I don't care about, like the Dodge or the Mustang or um, buses, right? Whereas if I get metalwork stuff, I can just make whatever I want, so it's not left to chance. Hey JD, thank you for resub! Almost three solid years. It has been a long time, hasn't it? The injured forearm is not making this easy. Oh, I think she has a riding helmet. Yeah, she had a riding helmet. I don't really need it, though. Pretty sure I have spare helmets. There were Jeep parts, yeah, in the, um, in the garages back at West Point. I would say that um, I'm not driving that far for them. They're just not worth that much. They're not worth the drive. I'd rather just find stuff close by or make stuff myself because that's a that's a pretty pretty hefty drive back all the way to west point again you have to think about the amount of time that takes versus just cooking something up here scavenging it up here Let's see, what is... <laughs> Just a bag of chips in this whole thing? Alright. <laughs> okay. I was excited. I was like, oh, look at this giant trailer. For a flimsy bag of chips. So if I'm going into this factory, I'm definitely going to want to secure the perimeter so that I don't have them banging on the doors and getting me all stuck inside while I'm in there. Chips need a lot of air? No, they don't. They need nitrogen. That's what they need. They don't need air. You don't want to put air in your chips. Just messing with you. Although I am technically correct.
All right, took some engine parts off that. Uh, the front right tire didn't look too bad, too. Oh, what? Uh, nope. Nope. Incorrect. So the engine parts are to repair this car and the, um, and the truck, if, if needed. But there's a good tire. And I use up tires really, really, really quick. And it's honestly not a terrible muffler either. It's a performance muffler with a very low um, volume modifier. It's all compare and contrast. Jesus, it's a 10 pound muffler? All right, it's going into the seats then. That's another thing that I could use is like a roof rack for extra storage and a trunk roof rack. Again, metalwork modifying for long-term benefits. Run flat tires are part of the mod set. They're just rare to find. Oh, man. Way more zombies in here than I thought there'd be. I see a hand axe, though. Cool. Pickaxe. Wood glue. Hi. All right, let me uh, back this train up. I know you can't really see right now all that well. But I don't have the luxury of using a uh, one-hander with my flashlight at the moment. All right, I think we're good. Flashlight time. So metal sheets, welding rods, although for car maintenance, welding rods aren't really all that important. But metal sheets are obviously king if I'm going to be custom making parts. I also should, what I should do is I should take a look at what it takes to make these custom parts. Ooh, engineer, oh, I don't even know where it would be. Actually, this brings me to another question, which training materials. No, I have all the recipes read. Okay. I'm not super comfortable doing it here. Should it be in metalwork? Oh, tuning. All right, here it is. So for tuning, I'll pause for a second. We want Jap stuff or jeep stuff so cut bumper lethal bumper roof rack so it's mostly how to make it from scratch windshield protection cargo cages which is a bunch of metal pipes metal pipes metal bars sheet metal yeah it's just pipes bars like i can make a sheet uh, a roof rack out of pipes and bars and propane um, windshield protection and tire protection. Actually, tire protection requires uh, chains. So pipes and bars and things like that. So I should grab every pipe that I see and regular sheet metal. I'm definitely not going to have enough carry weight, though, because there is a lot of stuff here. Now, there is some... Um, Where's my flashlight? A flashlight. Oh, shoot. Out of batteries. There is something to be said for finding pieces, whole pieces, that um, don't need assembly 
uh, cuts down on a lot of crafting. So I will try that. I will head over to the, the car place and, and see what I can find here in a second. I was just hoping to find some chains because I would love to, um, I would love to protect my tires. I need some screws to protect the stuff too. Yeah. I saw that screw box. I also have a few screw boxes. Um, let's see. Drop. Nope. Drop. I have to keep an eye on the... the time here, too. I should consolidate my keys. Because, um... You know, as we approach daylight, zombies get a lot sketchier. So I'll work my way from east to west here. Also, if you haven't submitted ideas for what I work on tomorrow, uh, please do so, because the time is now. So I believe that's everything from this north wall. What I probably ought to do is just grab a generator and hook it up so I can actually properly see in here, because this is dark and scary. All right, I have so many boxes of screws now. Oh, here's a fresh propane tank. Or, er, torch. Uh, that's great. I'll get some of it done. <laughs> I am your papa. You bought the milk? I thought you were going out for cigs, not milk. Guess I'll see you in another 20 years. Bye! I'm not doing a, a very completionist job with these boxes, but um, perhaps I come back with a generator and make a better run of it so I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Sledgehammer. I don't need it, but, you know, it's good to know. Oh, here we are. Trunk over spare wheel. An entire piece. Nice. Oh, God, two more sledgehammers. Well, there goes all my luck for, like, forever. Three sledgehammers, and... Now I'm not going to find anything else again in my life. I'm going to go install this trunk over the tire. So it, what it is, it's like a little platform right where your spare tire sits, where you um, you have like a little trunk. Yeah, there's a lot of great supplies here. Absolutely. I might be so overweight, I might not even be able to fill up my water bottle. <laughs> is this barricaded? Yes. All right, it is time for me to make my way back home because um, daylight a coming. I'm not even gonna install this uh, Jeep part right now. So before I do the drive home, what to do tomorrow or tonight technically, but whatever. So you guys proposed upgrade the truck and Jeep. Um, Supra, your suggestion is illegal via the rules, sort of. Um, work on long blade skill, meaning switching to, like, machetes. Search for propane. Explore around the Moldra station. And read books to catch up on XP Snuggle Yoda. 
All right. There's the poll. Thank you for uh, submitting ideas, and I'm going to refund y'all. So, Supra, yeah, uh, I'm not going to be outposting in Maldra. I don't outpost in cities anymore. It is forbidden. What I'm hoping to be able to do is, A, install that, um, that trunk. The extra storage over the trunk tire, but also repair the bumper. And then start to work on the resources for the roof rack. Because the cargo cage on top of the Jeep will really help with scouting runs. The trips, chips trailer, uh, I don't really want. Because I don't like scouting with towables, as I find it to be a bit of a lie. Oh, I'm on the wrong road. I find it to be a bit of a liability. Because your maneuverability goes to heck. So your options, if you get, um, if you get swarmed, are terrible. You can't plow through hordes or whatever. Plus, sometimes they make you flip, tip, capsize, whatever you want to call it. So I'd rather... I'd rather put the cargo on the roof. Where it's not going to endanger my life. Sounds much better. Just a personal preference. Hi, Tusky. Smush. Oh, I didn't even see that second one. I wonder what the bumper percent is. I'm guessing, like, six. Oh, well, five. Was there a propane trailer? So, in the mod, there is such a thing as a propane tra trailer. I've just not spotted one yet. So it's not to say that one does not exist. I just, I could go out looking for one. And that would solve uh, my lifetime supply of propane. Unless I'm trying to make like a metal base. But, um, might be hard to find. Because I searched the entire mall and there weren't any there. So I'm not really sure where to look, if not the mall. What's going on? Bandage. Ban oh, I know what's going on. I'm so encumbered I can't even bandage my own arm because I can't transfer the bandages to my inventory. <laughs> Alright, well, let's fix this. So here is the spare wheel wreck. Or not. Come on, man. There we go. Now I have a cargo spare wheel rack of 45 pounds capacity. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Magic Hippie, thank you for the resub. Make that diaper money? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Gotta get that diaper money. Oh, man, there's more diaper money. I have now have my diapers covered for the for the week. Not my diapers. I don't wear diapers. Okay. Uh, I'll just shut up now.
But thank you for the gifted subs, Magic Hippie. All right, looks like we have a winning poll option. I'll take a look at that in a sec. I'm just rearranging my inventory a bit. Where'd my dirty band-aid go? Did I drop it? Yep. Of course I did. I'm gross. What else don't I want? Hand axe stays with me. Dirty bandage gets cleaned. Time to empty out the Jeep. My trunk shrunk again. I keep damaging it. So, if you're wondering what the bumper was at, let's go see again. It is... 8%. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. It's so easy to accidentally hit take engine parts, which would be horrible. All right, 83% engine, not bad. I'm going to do a little bit of um, trunk and trunk lid repair here with all the metal sheets that I have. Probably more than I need. Is there any point to repairing it? Repairing, as had, repairing what specifically? The Jeep? Or... Well, I don't know what I was doing. Um, some parts... Oh, the bumper? Yeah, I, I should make a, a one from scratch. There's basically no advantage to... Um, to investing in that bumper anymore. It's kind of done. So the muffler I grabbed is better. So I'm going to go grab... I'm going to go install that muffler and swap it in. My gas tank is not looking great on this Jeep either. Make note of that. Gas tanks are annoying to switch out because you need to empty them out first, which means having a huge amount of capacity for storage for the gas. So without somewhere to actually put the gas, that part is super annoying. Anyone remember where I put that muffler? Organization is not my strong suit, especially when it's not voted on. Is it in the back seat? Yeah, I think you might be right. Yep. And then, what's the worst wheel I have? Front right. I need the gas trailer to swap them out. Yeah, probably.
All right, we are looking just about good here. Short of the Jeep's extremely damaged um, Rambar, or whatever you want to call it, Jeep's in pretty good shape. Maybe the best shape it's been in in a long time. I'll take a look at its per percentages here in a second. After I dump. Will we make a roof rack? Um, that is up to you guys. And this the poles that we run. I think if I want to attempt a roof rack, it's probably wise to read the metalworking book first so I actually get... Oh, I left my radio on. I'm an idiot. Let's turn that off. So this is, let's call it 64%. But not, it's not very modified. There's basically no mods on this. This thing only has like two mods. But it's at 56%. So that's not bad. Up from 54. So here's the goals. So what did you guys vote on? Let me check that out. Upgrade the Jeep and truck being the winning. Okay. Work on the Jeep and truck. I like it. I can get behind that. So I think what I'll do is I'll go to the auto body shop for some immediate parts that I can just install without trouble. And then after I've stripped the auto body shop, I'll try to go back to the uh, warehouse and grab whatever there is for me to grab there. Or could a propane trailer be? I have no idea. Alright, so there's a generator now in the rack of the Jeep. So that I can power on buildings when I'm in town uh, to make searching them a little bit less precarious. If I really want the roof rack, I need 12 pipes and 4 bars. Also, my metalworking needs to be level 5, so making that from scratch is not something I can do very easy without um, more metalworking skills. So a lot of this is just skill-based, working on metalworking and mechanics. So head to auto body shop is my first step. But given that it is, well, it's almost time. It's late, late enough in the day, I think. I'm pretty encumbered. Okay. Should we name the pickup truck, or the uh, propane t truck, Carmen San Diego? We could. Where in the world is Carmen? I don't know. Gotta switch coffee.
If you're under, ever wondering what's going on, top right of your screen is your first go-to. Chat could obviously fill you in, but... We are looking for modification parts to the Jeep and the truck. The Jap Wrangle, I think it's called, and the um, Peterbilt. And yep, we are going to the car parts store. That's our first stop. I don't want to miss it. It's just past the uh, House of Pancakes. Is it? No, it's next plaza, right? It is here. Yeah. Probably not going to need that generator. At this hour, it's not dark enough to warrant going through the rigmarole of setting up the generator. Performance brakes for standard. I'll take it. Spare engine parts, sure. And regular brakes, standard. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it will something. Propane torch, that's a hot ticket item. Wood glue. Sport muffler, don't need it. Don't need any of that. Oh, there's a water cooler. Good to know. Standard battery, I just threw in almost a fresh battery, so that doesn't matter. Performance suspension standard, I will take. And regular, short. Anything at 100% is going to be better than what I probably have in. Even the light bulbs, I guess I do a headlight swap. So, yeah, as I sort of suspected, this place doesn't exactly have the specific parts I'm looking for. That propane torch is really nice. But it's not like this is the jackpot or anything even close to jackpot. Just a few pieces of decent parts. And that's it. We could take a trash can with us. What I really want is actually a full-size dumpster. One of the two-part metal dumpsters. So they can throw away car parts, too. Because the small trash cans can only hold up to, like, 10 kilos. And a lot of the car parts are, like, 15 plus. Meaning that I won't be able to trash it. I have not checked really any buildings in all of Muldra except for the auto parts store. And yeah, let me get the lights on. Um, the auto parts store and this factory storage warehouse area is the only two that I've checked. 
Plus the hit vids that is in the south. I've basically not spent any time in Maldra, in other words. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 26th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, my fellow zombie survivors.